the madman Coming straight to you with movies, cigars, and a brew Discussing movies while kicking back Whether they are good or they're bad With the hottest movies and non-release I am talking about details and what I see So tune into the podcast while I vent With reviews, news, and nonsense, yeah And now... Recorded live from the capital of the first state of these great United States, Keith. You know, we're we're always looking to upgrade this show, and the the, the most significant thing I think I've done in the past uh, year, two years with this, is that I've gotten rid of that old office chair because I will no longer have that creaky sound when I lean back or lean across, and I think that that's probably going to. Be one of the better things that I've ever done, content wise. <laughs> but that aside, um, you know, the old chair uh, was loved, much like look at this segue. Batman has been loved, and I, I love Batman. I, I have to be honest. I, I have uh, forever, and um, but I, I, I don't even have the entire history of it. Obviously, it's a comic book franchise. Obviously, uh, you know. It goes back long before I was born, and you know the Adam West days. People enjoyed that as well. Um, I think we've all seen that one video where he's dancing around in a weird way, um, you know, to defeat an enemy. And uh, but that wasn't even the end of it. I mean, it really took off, you know, in the late eighties, and you know, part of my formative years. I was still in high school with uh, Michael Keaton's rendition of it, and. Uh, he had two two uh, two movies that were quite good, actually, um, and then it just fell off the rails. With uh, I didn't I didn't even mind the Val Kilmer one; it was all right. Um, but once they got to uh, Bat Nipples and uh, all of those, just a disaster of a, of a movie. How they put it together, um, I, I you know I, George Clooney's version of it. it wasn't really his fault i mean he's fine but that it just got to be so campy that um you know even the even the 60s ones looked better but then we had a whole nether generation because it kind of I, I really felt like that was the harbinger to all the things that were going to come with superheroes because the special effects was finally getting up to where they could really do something with them and though there was a lull um, we did get uh, Batman Begins, and we had a very dark take uh, on the on the Batman series, which uh, to much acclaim. You know, the Joker. We had two Jokers, which he's always pitted against, and and just and seemingly all of the renditions, and they both were fantastic performances. Uh, one uh, earning uh, a Best Supporting Actor for uh, Heath Ledger uh, posthumously. So, you know, we kind of went from the, some of that very campy stuff in the, in the early days to very dark stuff. And it was even dark in, in the most recent gritty, uh, almost obsessively so, uh, Batman that we now have who goes around and, and tat, uh, you know, burns marks into people and, and, and actually kills quite a few people. I won't even get into the history of, you know, whether he's killed people or not. Um, obviously, the the... You know, the Dark Knight series said that's the one thing he wouldn't do, but that wasn't something that was written into all the comic books over time. He definitely killed a lot of people in the comic books. But even while all that was going on, we had the backdrop of all of these animated series. One of them, most notably, The Joker, was um, voiced by Mark Hamill. So there's a lot of history, obviously. But one of the more interesting things that's come out in the past few years was this little bitty hit in the Lego movie where we saw this, you know, Batman come into play because he, you know, in the, in, you know, in the video game series that you know, we've got all these things. Now we had the Lego Batman and Lego star Wars, and it was an obvious choice to bring him in. And he was great. He was great in that because, you know, he's, he's uh, sort of larger in life and, and they took something that's been basically dark and made it kind of light and funny. And that's what, you know, because of the reactions to that, and that, and I will legitimately say say that night that 2014 Lego movie, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and I'm going to get to why I liked it and what I kind of you know was a little disappointed with in, in the ba- Lego Batman movie. But so Will Arnett comes back; he's you know, voicing um, the the 
the Batman. And um, he's joined, of course, by Joker, who's voiced by Michael Sarah. And I didn't think his voice was really great for it. And obviously, they're keeping it light and having Michael Sarah be a, a Joker. Uh, there was there wasn't a lot of his characteristic jokery things, and so it was it was very much a um, you know a Lego Joker. Uh, Rosario, Rosario Dawson plays um, I think her name's Barbara in it. That she's basically the um, Commissioner Gordon's daughter who's going to take over for him. Ralph Fiennes is Alfred, and um, there's a few other people in it notably, but. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this thing really takes off with lots of color and lots of, uh, you know, explosions and, and, and dancing and some singing. And, and, and it, it really is, is all over the place from a color spectrum. And there's tons and tons of references to all of this history uh, where they kind of poke a little bit of fun about uh, everything from the 1950s and 60s, where they were, where would have the words ap- appear over uh, people's heads when they'd go pow and wham and um, holy this Batman. I mean, there's a lot of that kind of stuff uh, in this movie. They'd poke fun at and there's a rich history there. So there was a, a good element of inclusion for the geeks out there. Uh, at the same time... It was very kid-friendly in that it was constantly moving with tons and tons of of things on the screen and colors, and it just, you know, you were were overloaded with that. At the heart of it, though, I think the the biggest issue that I probably had with it was in the 2014 movie, there was this essence of tying in what was on the screen back to real life to a certain extent where you saw the imagination of the kid behind it. And, um, and this, this was really a straight take on let's just do, you know, Lego in the Batman, you know, let's do Batman in a Lego world and left it at that. Um, so this is, you know, so from that perspective, it was a, it was a little bit uh, off. Um, although you kind of know that this Batman is completely wrapped up in himself to a large extent you know he basically you know his his dark brooding manifests itself in 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 narcissistic self promotion a lack of self awareness is what i would call it he um he basically you know fights all day long and then runs over to the uh the orphanage and uses a merch gun to shoot <laughs> merchandise to the kids and then runs off at home taking off most of his bat costume except for his hat helmet, you know, and, um, his, you know, his mask. So then he sits in front of, uh, his movie theater, you know, he's a billionaire, so he's got his own movie theater and he watches Jerry Maguire and eats lobster, uh, a lobster that he has microwaved himself. I guess Alfred doesn't do that stuff for him in this version of the world. Alfred plays more like a father figure to him. So, um, you know, so it's it was okay. It was it wasn't. You know, here's the thing. I, I'm a Batman fan, and it was it was fine. It was fun. Um, I probably do like my back Batman darker, and I, and I I probably did. I really did like him in in the 2014 as as a movie. Um, I think it went a little bit long. Um, uh, but what I also think is this movie was not intended for me. This movie was intended for kids, and as I say in my written review. I should probably shut up about it because that's what it was really for. There was a little bit in there for us to kind of go, oh, yeah, I remember that about Batman when I was young and stuff. But it really wasn't for us. This was this was a vehicle to sell Lego toys to kids. And really, Warner Brothers unloaded everything they've got access to. And they were able to bring in all these baddies. They had Lord Voldemort in there. And um, they had uh, stuff from the... Uh, uh, the British Doctor Who show, uh, they had they they had all this stuff in there, and they, and they kind of tied it in by bringing in that 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 world that uh, Superman sends everybody into, um, you know, where all the bad guys sit. So uh, it was it was good. It was it was good from that perspective. But I don't I, I don't think that um, it, it wasn't meant for me, and, and so therefore it's okay. 
I, I'm only going to give it a B minus because I just thought it was a little busy, and I also thought it was just a little bit too long. But it's a great one to take the kids to, and uh, it's not very dark. It's it's finally um, we have a light movie, and I think I think that more than anything else is why it's getting so many great reviews from everybody. Everybody just wanted to see a lighthearted Batman film, and um, I, I don't I, I don't know that I necessarily agree with that per se, uh, though I. Probably am not real happy about uh, Batman versus Superman either, but that's a different review. Um, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. You have been listening to the Movies, Cigars, and a Brew Podcast. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Spreaker, and Stitcher. Find reviews of other movies, cigars, and beers at MovieCigarsAndABrew.com. Give a like on Facebook or follow Keith on Twitter at Movie Cigar Beer. Your trailer is coming up next. Great to be Batman. Batman, we love you. Thank you. I'm blushing super hard under the mask. Batman. Pray God. Thanks, Batman. Yeah. I can only imagine he's going home right now to party the night away, surrounded by friends and lady activewear models. Hey, computer. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Master Bruce, your greatest fear is... Snakes? No. Clouds? No. It's being a part of a family again. No, now it's snake clouds because you put that idea in my head. Sir, you need to take responsibility for your life, and it starts by raising the young orphan you adopted. I thought I was being sarcastic. Hello, secret camera. We built this city. What? It's the Bat Cave. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, it's the Bat Zap. Oh, don't touch that. The Bat Zeppelin. Don't touch that either. It's the Bat Kayak. No. Do I get a costume? I love it, but his pants are just a little tight. I got an idea. It's better. I can only look you in the eyes right now. Hi, Batman. No way. Come catch your greatest enemy. Superman is my greatest enemy. Superman's not a bad guy. Then I'd say that I don't currently have a bad guy. I am fighting a few different people. I like to fight around. Hi, Barbara Gordon, new police commissioner. It's my dream for the police force to team up with Batman. What? Wouldn't that be better? I hate everything you just said. Nice. Initialized master bill. Got it. Here you go. Oh, I need the macaroni. Yes, we did it. Pretty cool, huh? Why did you build this thing with only one seat? Uh, because last I checked, I only had one butt. Let's go defeat the Joker. Woo! We're going on a family trip. I can wear my costume too. Well, luckily for us, you left your costume back. In... Oh, no, under your clothes. That's perfect. Ooh.